Hi you guys, it's Stephanie. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I do really appreciate it. Um, and I always forget to say how much I do pre appreciate it. I know there are so many people to watch out there and videos are oftentimes an hour long. And so not mine necessarily, but a lot of people's. And so people who have these amazing channels with long videos, you want to go watch them and then all of a sudden you don't have time to watch somebody else's. So I really appreciate you guys taking your time to watch mine. I try to keep them a little shorter so that you can go over and watch the people that you normally watch. So just saying that I do really appreciate it. Um, and please give me a thumbs up and comment. Um, I would appreciate that as well. So I've been preparing some things this morning and yesterday to show you. I'm just going to get busy on it. I actually have my my hot glue gun plugged in so um, I don't have to wait for it or disappear underneath my desk to do it. Okay, I want to put a, a, a stocking on this page here. So I haven't glued it down yet so you could see what I did. I was gifted this red um, fabric from somebody and I thought what on earth am I going to do with that fabric but okay thank you and I, I kept it and put it in my uh, little stash of fabric and here we go there's a stocking um so what I did was I found did I find one to trace I don't remember but anyway stocking I might have traced one and then I glued the fabric with Fabri-Tac onto a piece of scrapbook paper that I am not thrilled with and um, I, I did that and then I found some more fabric that I had been gifted it is I believe sweatshirt fabric and I have folded it over and glued it down and I've left the you know how the inside of a sweatshirt is fuzzy I've left that on this side so we'll go ahead and glue that down I'm just going to line it up pretty much at the top so just a little bit sticks over not much I got a little bit coming out of the top here so that would end up gluing it down to the page so be careful with that if you decide to do this get the glue off my fingers and I want it fairly low because I have things to put in at the top. And I'm, I'm rounding it a little. I've made a little gingerbread man to go in there and I'm putting buttons on his belly. And I know those buttons are gonna get stuck, you know, as you go in. So we're going to try and avoid having that happen. Let me get some things out of the way. So here's my gingerbread man over here. I found a template online and I just printed that off and um, cut it out and then went through my buttons to try and find some that were kind of matchy. I didn't want them to look too, you know, different sized. And I did find two that are actually the same, so I figured I would do, you know, a different one in the center. So we'll go ahead and put those down. Let's see, I'm not sure which is the best way to do it. A lot of times I like putting the threads, you know, in, but I didn't want to do that this time. winding up the glue as it stretches and strings. OK, 
Okay. Don't think I'm going to need that again, but we'll leave it just in case. To get the little um, face, I just used my hole punch for the eyes. And then the smiley face, not so easy. Uh, or I mean the smiley. I took a, a circle punch and I used it as a guide. That was the best thing I could think of. So that's how I got my smiley. I'll go ahead and glue down those eyes. It's going to be hard. I hope I get him right where I want him so that he doesn't look like he needs eye surgery to correct a problem. <laughs> That's okay. They're where they need to be. And then we'll go ahead and get his smiley face on. This is not going to be easy. Oh, actually, that wasn't too bad. Yay! It's kind of... The glue will dry and you'll be able to see it. I think. I hope. And then I took the same, you know, I took my hole punch to make some little, you know, pink cheeks for him. Alrighty then, and I have some tiny little white rickrack to give him that frosting look. So we're just going to kind of measure it as best as we can, figure out where I want my line of glue. I always underestimate how long it's going to take to put all of these things together when I say it's just going to be a quick video. Should not be doing this on the book. Sorry, that's probably pretty noisy. Okay. I need to learn how to do all kinds of, you know, fast forwarding and stuff like that so that you know, it does make the video shorter for you guys. But if I'm being honest, that doesn't sound like a fun thing to learn. I want to do this. I don't want to figure out. I don't want to do the research. <laughs> I don't know. My poor daughter is so tired of me coming to her and saying, Emily, how do I... <gasps> I 
have come a long way though. I mean, it is shocking to my husband when I, I'm like, you know, for me to actually have a YouTube channel that I post videos on. I mean, if you knew me really well, you would know that that is totally leaps and bounds from where I was because I just kind of was refusing to, to learn. <laughs> I have to because I'm going to end up not being able to do things for myself at some point if I don't learn. Not necessarily YouTube videos. Obviously, that is not a necessity in life, but just to figure out the, um, the technology. And I just, I don't know. I don't want to be behind. I don't want to have somebody that I have to, you know, rely on in order to pay a bill at some point because I imagine um, at some point you will have no choice but to have everything automatic. I mean most things are automatic but I don't know. I'm just rambling. I want to be able to take care of myself is what I'm saying. So I'm trying to learn. There we go. Little gingerbread guy. Okay so I want to have him fit into my my pocket easily and a lot of times when I when I know that it could be a problem I'll put what I want in there and I'll glue it down with it in there and hold it until it's glued down with it in there that way I know that it has the space to just go in and out easily but first I'm gonna glue the bottom down and then we'll do the top I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we'll do the whole thing because it would be really hard to bend it. We'll just do the whole thing. I'm going to have to hold it though while it dries and hopefully not glue my gingerbread guy in. I'll get it started anyway. And then lift. Oh, I see there's a little bit of glue on the side. Okay, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to just kind of make a little bump. Um, what can I put in there? I'm going to put a couple of these that I know the glue is not going to hit the side of them because they're narrow, but it's making it a nice little, ooh, too big of a lump. We'll do that. I'm mostly just concerned about the buttons. I tried to find some really flat buttons in my stash, but it's not easy. They don't really make real flat buttons. I can't imagine that they're easy to use on clothing, you know, and after all, they are meant for clothing, not crafts, right? <laughs> well, originally, anyway. Okay, I mean, I can stick the tip of my finger under there. It might be too much. Let me flatten it down just a little bit. Okay, that's pretty, pretty easy. I'm not going to put my gingerbread in yet because I want it to dry. And I did make it so that it will stick out a lot. That was my intention, so... 
I hope that works out okay. And I made a giant candy cane to go in it as well. So just in case my gingerbread man doesn't fit easily for some reason, I think he will. It's going to look like that, but I'm afraid. So I'm going to leave those out for the moment. I did want to put this along the edge as well. See, it's always so hard to know which way to go or start or anything with the rickrack. Stockings are a little bit of a, well, they're not an afterthought, you know, for me, but, you know, they're hanging up on the, on the fireplace surround and, and I know they're there. I made them all. I'll show you guys at some point when I get my Christmas stuff out, I'll show you my stockings. I, I did a uh, cross stitch and needle point, uh, one for each of us. So they're really pretty, I think. Um, but my family members don't think about them. And so I fill theirs up but nobody puts anything in mine, so I buy my own stocking stuffers. Is that not pathetic? <laughs> it's okay, I get what I want. And then I always make a point of it too. I'm saying, oh, look, huh, so thoughtful of me. <laughs> okay, I found some, um, just the, you know, royalty-free Christmas music online free printable type thing you know you can print these all you want you don't have to buy somebody's kit you can go online and find these because they are not copywritten I printed them on the back of some um, scrap of paper and I have prepared these little edges to put on them so I can make um, hole punches. One of them's a little bit different size than the other, so I want to make sure I'm getting it on the right one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and glue that down. Yeah, just make sure not all Christmas music is royalty-free, but there, there are sites that tell you which ones are. They're just lists, you know, so you just go on and find something that you can print all you want of. I, um, so I left this side of it not very distressed, but I distressed this side more to kind of go more with the paper. I keep putting this in the wrong way and I'm having to wait for my glue. I don't know if you guys do this, but I get caught up in my crafting and I don't eat and I get so hungry. So the other morning I hadn't had breakfast. Well, this today it's time for lunch and I haven't had lunch. I haven't had anything since breakfast and I'm really hungry, but I wanted to do this instead because <laughs> it was ready to go. And I thought, well, I can wait another half an hour. Hopefully that's all it takes is half an hour. Okay, so while the glue is drying there, we're going to put some things on the back. I 
I didn't get that on there perfectly straight, but I'm okay with that. It's fine. On the first one, I have this little don't forget thing, which I thought was cute. And I'm just going to put it on. Um, it looks a little like it needs something else, but I'm going to go back when I'm all done with it. And I will add laces and ruffles and things like that according to how much space I have left. I'm afraid if I do it all as I'm doing this, I'll end up with the front of my book being um, very embellished and the back of my book not being embellished enough. So I'm just trying to even it out that way. So I will definitely go back and add to this. And when I do that, I'll probably add some like lace to this side to even that out. So it's even on this side, my spacing, but this side isn't. That's okay, the lace will fix that. And you know, it's, it's handmade, it's not perfect. Okay, so we will put that in in a minute. So these I have, um, I wanted to do this on this one. So it's going to be like this in the book. It'll open like that. So I want to put a pocket on the back like that. And I will distress that real quick. This is a Project Life card. I believe it was from a, a birthday kit. Um, but I'm using it. I mean, look, the colors work, so why not? Yeah, the other side has cupcakes. Okay. these little tabs and I sewed some um, a button on some fabric probably don't need nearly that much fabric tack on there This isn't traditional, you know, Christmas fabric, but the green I think is really good. And then I think the pink little roses on it are really pretty. I'm gonna let that hang off the top for a second as I do this one. Now I think that this is probably dry, so I'm going to poke my, I, I freehanded this. It took a little time, but, and then somebody can write on the back if they want, you know, they'll need kind of a darker pen or something, but I thought it'd be cute to put that in there. And there's that. He's green on the back. Yeah, he fits fine. There we go. His feet hit just a little bit, but he's good. And my whole punch. So we have deck the halls. I think I'm going to put or deck the hall and then jingle bells. So we'll just do up here, I think, on this one. It's going to be difficult getting through this. I have a feeling it's quite a few layers of paper and glue. 
That was okay. My stomach is growling. Somebody's really loud vehicle just went past. So there's that. That's cute. And then these will be poking out the side here. And I'm going to go ahead and leave those in because they're hanging off the side like that. They will be able to dry. I believe that is all I have for you guys for right now. So again, like I said, thank you guys so much for taking your time to watch my videos. And please comment and please give me a thumbs up and, you know, tell your friends if you like what you're seeing and you think they might like it too. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.